What's going on, Infinite Fam? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell, leave a positive comment down below for a chance to get a what bear? For a chance to win a shout out in the next video. As you guys can hear, the birds are chirping, we are outside, we are in a different setting, we are actually in Turks and Caicos right now. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, no, we wish we were. We're at my mom's house, we're in the backyard right now, that bird needs to shut up. But as you guys can tell by the title and thumbnail of the video, it's not, we don't have good news for you guys. This is an update with like the whole ovarian cyst thing that Janice, why she went to the hospital, and it's just a whole mess. Babe, tell them what's going on. Okay, so like I said, like I wanted to keep you guys in the loop whenever I have an update. Obviously, we did discuss in the last video that if you guys don't see a video, then everything's going well right um so as you guys can see things aren't going too well uh i went to get an mri on saturday and they found multiple cysts even though i have multiple cysts before now they're basically all measuring over five centimeters i've been in excruciating pain i've been bleeding non-stop um for about two weeks now it became quite concerning so it has come down to the fact that i have to get these ovarian cysts removed. Um, I have early signs of, I don't know what it's called, something with an A. Basically what, me, what that means is my cysts are not filled with fluid, they're actually filled with tissue and they're actually attaching itself to different parts of my uterus. So um, if I don't take them out now, I may not be able to have children in the future. That's where we basically are at right now. It's been a very emotional roller coaster for Isaiah and I, especially me considering it's really scary to go through something like this. Like I'm like been so emotional. I honestly have now stopped crying, but I'm trying to be positive. He's trying to get me to be positive because Normally, I'm not really positive when it comes to things that are difficult for me. It's Being just negative how I about am. a situation, guys, isn't gonna do anything for you. If anything, it's gonna make your mental state even worse. So it's best to try to like keep your mind off of things and just try to see the positive and everything. I know it's kind of hard to see the positive in a situation like this. I guess the positive is that we're gonna get this handled sooner rather than later. And luckily, we had an MRI pretty quickly, so and we, we got the results literally. Like a, two, like a day or after, yeah, like a day two or two after. after. So things are moving pretty quickly, but I think the next step after this is that she's gonna be needing to get her surgery. Now, it's not a crazy invasive surgery. Um, they just make a small incision and they remove it. Again, this is just me and her assuming what might go on, but we definitely know for sure that it's not gonna be a crazy surgery because the doctor told us. But we're just waiting to hear from the doctor as far as like what's the next steps. They're still reviewing stuff and going over a bunch of things. I mean, there's not really, much else to say we just wanted to keep you guys really in the loop i always said that i wanted to keep you guys informed i don't want to post that i'm getting surgery and you guys think i'm getting like cosmetic surgery or anything like that like i'm getting surgery for you know something pretty serious but yeah it has been emotional guys like i she like she said before she has been like crying and stuff like that i've been like trying to like just you know guide her through the process and keep her uplifted but um, it is something serious and it is something that can affect our future. As you guys know, we do want kids, not at the moment, but eventually we do want kids and this is something that we have to handle pretty fast if we want that to still be an option for the future. Everything's in God's hands, everything's in God's timing, we're leaving everything up to Him, but we're also going to be moving pretty fast on our end as well. So that's pretty much it guys, it's a short video, we're just keeping you guys up to date. Um, we hope you guys understand everything that's going on. Drop any comments down below if you guys have been through this or if you guys know anyone that's been through something like this, let us know down below how it went for them. This is our first time going through this kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, especially for you. This is my first time like going through any any issues with like my ovaries and stuff like that. And I always had suspicions because I was always in pain growing up. Like literally my whole teenage life, you know, before I was like sexually active, anything like that. Like I was just always in pain and now you know why so i'm kind of relieved knowing that i found a solution to my problem because this also can cause stomach pain and also what i didn't mention is the cyst can be growing in, that, in my abdomen which lately i've been like very swollen in my stomach and i've been the same weight since i was 15 so not even since i was like what an eighth grade I've been the same way and like I gained weight and I was just so confused as to why my body was changing so drastically in a year 
and it's because of the ovarian cysts and the endometriosis. Yeah. So, we thought it was because the whole pandemic, being locked up in quarantine and all that, yeah. we thought we was just gaining weight, which I did. I can't. I got no excuse for my end. I did gain weight. Your boy got a little fat pack, but we yeah. don't work on that. I pretty much eat healthy, and like honestly, just gaining weight from this, I became so discouraged and I like literally just started eating like crap and then I found out that I had endometriosis and I have tissue growing like in my abdomen and stuff like that so now I'm like okay so I'm not gaining weight like it's just something that I need to take care of and you have a condition <laughs> yeah yeah guys so hopefully when we get this situated everything else will go away or hopefully get better by like 10 times better um, but again, I feel like we were supposed to end this video like two minutes ago, <laughs> but we gave them an, um, another update that we forgot to throw in. But I yeah. think that's pretty much it at that point. Um, now all we have to do is wait for the surgery date and we'll probably let you guys know that. Um, I'm not sure if we're allowed to film the surgery or if we I... We probably won't be, but we'll yeah. be able to give them an update and let you guys know what's going down as right. far as, you know, the date, the whole process of the surgery we'll find out as we go we're, mm -hmm. we're going on with you guys you i'm know. still waiting on a call from my doctor to let us know yeah like, what's the more next information step? and stuff like that so as soon as we know you'll get you guys will know so so yeah infinite fam like i said it was a short video we hope you guys understand everything again drop your comments down below and we will see you guys in the next video